Oh no. What's oh look at this. Oh it's broken at the join here. Where I had tied it. But I obviously didn't oh, I missed that one. Should have been tied up here. It's blowing over. That's buggered. See that there? G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to show you what we can do when you have a disaster in the garden and one of your tomato plants snaps off just when it's starting to grow really great. Let's get into it. I was hoping that I'd tied it all up. The problem with tomatoes is they will break. You get a, a good wind going and if they're not tied up properly, anything that can swivel in the breeze will break off. But it's not the end of the world. For me, we've got plenty of tomato plants on the go. I always make sure I try to grow as much as possible and overgrow so that we over deliver and if something happens, we still get a fair bit or enough. The other thing is, say if you only had a few tomato plants and you came out and you saw this disaster, the tomato plant snapped in half or a good strong branch gone, don't let it persuade you because this has already got a good head start. With a little bit of perseverance and some trimming, you can turn this into another plant. The other tomato plant, it'll keep growing, it's still got a good root ball and it'll rejuvenate and still get some fruit for you. This one here can turn into a second plant that can grow nice and strong and also provide a lot of fruit. But before you go planting this and sticking it in the ground, we need to do a, a fair bit of trimming and you've got to be fairly brutal. Definitely get rid of any trusses like that. Get rid of any lower branches like that. Low branch here, gone. Even these two, I said you have to be brutal, gone. There's another truss of tomatoes, gone. You don't want the leaves or the trusses of tomatoes or this stem to suck too much energy trying to produce. You want it initially to put out roots and get strong so that it can continue growing and then produce fruit when it's ready and strong enough to. This is even too much. Let's go there and there's a little limb coming out. What they call it is a leader and you can just see it there just poking out. If you left that grow, it would grow out to another large stem pinch that out and I don't want this one growing out of here either so I'll pinch this leader out but in fact there's even still too much you see this plants bending over a bit that will straighten out let's get rid of that there's another small truss of tomatoes starting to grow get rid of that there's a leader but that's sort of at the top that might be okay can extending that stem upwards I think that's enough foliage. You need to leave some foliage on there to, so that it can get energy from the sun. It doesn't have to regrow, but I still reckon we cut these off in half. Cut that off. And a few of those extra leaves. We're left with a fairly bare stem. See that? And now we're going to plant it, and we're going to plant it all the way down, like a good you know, 8 to 12 inches underground. Dig a nice deep hole, fairly narrow. Test it, no, deeper. I want it almost buried right up to its neck. Yep, that could do. Bury that all in. Right around it. And what I'll do now is I'll put a stake right next to it before it starts getting some roots. And then I'll tie it to that stake and we can grow it up a stake on this particular plant. And that'll straighten it out as well. That's just a cockatoo going nuts in the background. Put the steak in. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Tie it up around the steak. And that'll keep those leaves off the ground. There, one more tie just up the top here to keep it straight. Allow for a bit of room for it to grow. Bit of mulch, bump it up a bit. To protect the moisture you want to mulch around because this has got no roots at the moment so when you do water it in it's got to stay moist for a while it's like if you put it in a glass of water and let it root first before you plant it out which you can do or you can put it in a nursery put it in a pot 
and keep it well hydrated like that and then plan it out but this works just as effectively and gives you a head start actually don't feel disappointed if you come out tomorrow and, and the thing's looking like it's half dead it will come good just keep the water up to it and it'll set roots rather quickly and then you can train it up this post or whatever you've got in for it really good water in like I mean soak the heck out of it to start off with and then just give it a nice watering every day as it needs it especially if you see it drooping over because initially what will happen is the moisture will get absorbed through the actual stem of the tomato plant that's how it'll suck up its moisture so you want to give it a good drink and keep it well hydrated until it can punch out a few roots and it'll do that as fast as it can and here it is eight days later doing really well as you can see nice dark leaves it's perky and growing up this stake no problems at all starting to get a little bit of new growth the one that did break off is really difficult to find can you see the gap i mean that's just how fast the tomato plants recover and grow here it is the gap has healed over or the cut has healed over and it's already shooting from the join here that will grow into another leader that can replace this other one and be just the same as this one growing up and then over if I wanted it to but you can see there's plenty there's absolutely plenty of tomatoes and branches that I can use anyway well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and remember it's not the end of the world if your tomato plant snaps off or indeed snaps in half it'll still keep growing fine and also you can make more plants out of it even more than just one if you wanted to thanks a lot for watching bye for now yes i'm gonna go around like an eagle eye and check on everything that's for sure Still got my fingers crossed this is going to be one heck of a tomato harvest this year. Wow. Still looking very good.